Don't be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity Reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her head hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back if you're deep in here and hi if you're new i hope you stick around so today you're going to be spending the day with me i'm going to be running a couple of errands and also doing a little bit of maintenance today i'm going to start off with things that might be a little bit more time consuming than others and just end the day off with some light stuff so i'm going to get my nails done first along with my toes and then i have a wax appointment to go to as well so it's just those two appointments I need to really get to. So I'm actually going to start heading there right now. It is a little bit far, but for some reason, I just happen to think, you know, today's a good day to walk. And let me just show you the before. These are my nails currently right now, and these are my toes. They both like a very soft pink. I actually really loved this nail set. It really did convert me to become an almond slash stiletto type girl i just think that this shape really works well with my hands and my nails in general i don't know i just think i like it actually that's it i simply like it and of course i'm getting my nails done at the girl house i have been coming here for i don't know i think i've done maybe six sets with them or five maybe not too sure i just like their price points like they're pretty affordable i like that they're able to get the designs done i like that they're neat and they do have various nail techs so i have pretty much gotten my nails done with like everyone which i don't mind because it seems like every single nail tech here actually knows what they're doing and at the same time as getting my nails done i'm getting my toes done as well which i think is so convenient because that means i don't have to spend extra time here and that's kind of one of their selling points how you can get various things done at the same time and they do encourage that Another thing that I do have to mention, I personally feel like getting my nails done has really strengthened my nails and obviously I retain nail length, if that is even such a thing. <laughs> because I use poly gel, so obviously there's a layer of strength on my nails which means that they don't really chip or break that often. And because I get my sets done back to back, for some reason my nails are still pretty healthy. Today though, I will be trying something slightly different. Usually I always get a French set. Whatever it is, I get a French set. But I want to try different things. I mean, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Even if you love it, it's okay to like try something different. But in the same breath, I'm doing what I usually go for. I'm getting simple white toes. The reason being is I didn't know what else to do and I didn't necessarily want French. So I just decided to do plain set white toes. I honestly can't believe that these are my natural nails. Oh my gosh, they look so pretty. So like I said, we're doing something different. We're doing gold stars with like a gold thick outline around them. I saw it on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it. But unfortunately, they don't really have the chrome that I thought that they would have. Like I had no idea that this is how you get those like thick nail art designs you basically take chrome a bit of poly gel and then you make this and then they use that on your nail i had no idea they also didn't have the rhinestones that i wanted so i kind of had to change the design i was actually quite disappointed about that i mean like i feel like if you are a nail store you have to have the nail art designs that are popular and obviously rhinestones are popular but nonetheless my nail take was honestly so on point she suggested that we do black stars instead of the gold stars to make it pop since they don't have the rhinestones and i thought it actually came out pretty cute it's different and i love it so we have my toes done and my nails done and I'm actually really happy with both. So shout out to the girl house. If you're in the Johannesburg North area, I think it's Johannesburg North, and you're looking for a place to get your nails done, have a look at them. Okay, so now we're heading over to my wax appointment. I'm going to Cool Look Beauty. You see, I'm a creature of habit. If I like something, I'm going to stick to going there. I don't like bouncing, 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 bouncing. Especially when it comes to very serious things like a wax. For me personally, I've got very sensitive underarms. One wrong move and I will get hyperpigmentation scarring. And it takes months to sort out something such as hyperpigmentation scarring. So if I don't like it, I'm not going to go back to it. And if I feel a little bit worried that you know what this may end up harming me in the future 
I just don't go back to it. It's not necessarily that there's something wrong with the way I'm getting my wax done. It's probably just the products I'm worried about how they're going to react to my skin. So if I go and I get a wax and I feel a little bit of itching afterwards, I don't necessarily want to go there again because I'm just scared. I'm just scared to get hyperpigmentation scarring. And every time I come to Cool Look Beauty, I've never really had any itching or anything. So that's why I keep coming back. And obviously I wasn't able to film the whole entire process. I'm still a bit shy when it comes to things like that. I really am. But since Cool Look Beauty is very close to Rosebank, I'm heading to the mall to pick up a couple of things. And I saw this cute top the last time that I was here at Rosebank. So I'm coming back for this top because I thought that it would just be cute in my wardrobe and I like the color. I recently discovered that I'm a deep winter. So I'm trying to dress according to my colors that are apparently really work well for my skin tone and I do agree with them like I do get a lot of compliments when I'm wearing the colors that these colors suggest that I should wear. I also do want a different kind of jean and I really love H&M jeans. I want like a bootleg jean. I've always loved these jeans ever since I was so young so I don't know why it took me so long to get like a bootleg jean. But we might change that today so i'm actually gonna head to the fitting room to see if i'm happy with these two choices and then i'll decide from then if i'm gonna take them i also saw these cute little jerseys but the thing about it is that these jerseys are thin like our jerseys not supposed to be warm like why are they so thin anyway Also, let's have a little cute little fit check. I like the skirt so much. <laughs> anyway, so this is the top. I took a medium because they did not have a small. And I'm kind of worried about the boob situation. And I feel like the top is not sitting on my skin the way that I would like it to sit. Also, the jeans don't fit by my waist. It's like a complete one size up. But it fits the rest of my legs, but just not my waist. And because of that, it actually looks a little bit funny. I was actually going to leave the top and take the jean. But while I was leaving, I saw a size small. <laughs> And I tried that one on and yeah, this put everything together. I was a little bit worried about the boob situation, thinking that maybe my cleavage was too much. But then I realized I'm wearing like a semi push-up bra. So that's kind of why you can see my boobies a little bit more. So I'm going to take the top and I'm going to take the jeans. Now that I'm in the mall, I'm also going to head to Checkers to pick up a few groceries because we are also in need of groceries. And I also want to pick up a little bit of snacks. Yeah, that's also why I walked into here. But the groceries are there to also make it seem like, you know, I was doing the right thing. So I don't feel bad about all the snacks that I'm about to buy. There is something that I'm thinking of cooking, so I need stir fry in order for me to make that because it's just, you know, a little bit easier. And I also really like the stir fry because Jibril really likes it, so, and it's a good thing that he eats his veggies. Also, can we talk about the coke of this year? Because the amount of times I've bought coke this year is actually scary. I don't know what they put in the coke of this year. Jeez. And for the snacks that I'm getting, I'm getting my Dorito chips, I'm getting these chip nicks, and I'm also getting some from my mom. She likes these ones. I'm not really sure why she likes them, but this is the one that she likes. And I'm getting chocolate because I love me some chocolate. And for maybe a midnight snack, if I want to snack on something, I'm going to get these tennis little rusts or whatever it's called. And that's all that I'm going to get. Then now I can actually go home. You know what, while I was heading out, I realized how grateful I am. You know one thing about me, I will always give gratitude to God for everything that I'm able to do because at the end of the day, I'm able to only do these things through Him. Like it makes me so happy to know that I can take care of myself from head to toe because God has allowed me to do so. So I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful to God. But yeah, God is good and he always provides. And this is where I'll be ending today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!